Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you like the still picture that you're seeing because that's what we're going to do today. As always, the whole process is going to be divided into several different parts, so always remember to take a look at the chapter markers below and you'll be able to jump around back and forth between the segments. This is episode number 2 of how to spray paint and refinish your guitar from scratch and today we're going to remove the old paint. If you're new to the channel and you like this type of content, please feel free to leave a like and comment on anything you see or hear. And if you also want to see more of this stuff like plugin reviews, gear demos and other heavy metal related videos, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps a lot, guys. Alright, so for this tutorial I'm going to be using sandpaper in various grit, typically starting from 80 for rough shaping and gradually going up to 2000 for super fine polishing, a cork block, paper towels and of course painter's tape screwdrivers, hex keys and wrenches. You can also use an orbital sander to speed things up a little bit when removing the very first layers of paint on flat areas, but you'll definitely end up having to hand sand the majority of your guitar's body surely in the cutaways. Since we're going to make a lot of dust first and spray paint later, going back and forth, back and forth between these two phases, the workspace where you're going to do it is very important. You absolutely want to stay in a room with good ventilation and lights, put some trash paper sheets or cardboard in the background and spraying lacquer paint, you need to place one fan near your guitar, making it blow the air away from it and yourself as well. Just a quick disclaimer before starting the process, wood, paint and metal dusts are very dangerous for your health, so always remember to wear safety devices such as masks and respirators with suitable filters, gloves, goggles and to do everything calmly and very carefully. If for any reason you are not comfortable with the tools you are using, just immediately stop and ask for help from someone more experienced than you. Safety first, folks! Alright, so the fun part begins. As you can imagine, I'm using my orbital sander with 8 degree sandpaper on flat surfaces. Quick tip, always start from the back, because if you screw up something, it will be less noticeable. And also be sure to set the speed of your orbital sander starting from very low and gradually increasing it as this procedure can be quite dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, of course, pardon the very grainy footage, but at this point you're going to make a lot of dust. I mean, a lot, really a lot of dust. Again, I will never stress this enough. If you're trying to mimic me in the video, be sure to be very comfortable with what you're doing. So if for whatever reason you find the surface where you're staying slippery or maybe your hands and wrists are starting to hurt, take a break, stop, safety first guys. You can say that the paint that I am removing wasn't that good because I am almost not applying any pressure at all and this is going away very fast. Alright, now I finished with 80 grit sandpaper, so it's time to move on to the hand sanding part. And here guys, you are going to sweat really hard. Believe me, this is going to be a tough work. And yes, it's fine if you regret doing this, but hold on tight, stay strong, because the final result will be awesome. I know you can feel the pain just by watching this video, there's nothing much to add here. Just wrap your sandpaper around the cork block or a wooden block. The important thing is that it's straight and keep sanding and sanding and sanding and sanding using 80 or 100 grit sandpaper until you see the paint coming up. Hold on, eventually you'll reach the bare wood. Sooner or later, today or tomorrow or maybe next week. Or yeah, more likely in 2024. And finally, after you manage to remove almost all the paint from your guitar, it's time to clean the surface, because I'm going to fill those big holes that you see. 
Yes, I've been working on two guitars at the same time and I'll make a video for the other one also, so stay tuned. Again, sorry for the footage being a little bit grainy, but with all that sand and dust in the air, both my cameras had a really bad time trying to stay in focus. So I'm just using that blue sponge with a little bit of water, you want to remove almost all the dust from the top of your guitar. And now it's time to fill those big holes. So you're going to need wood filler, buy a good one, you won't regret it, wood dowels, wood glue, a spatula, putty knife, hand shears or trimming scissors, painter's tape and your guitar, of course. This is almost the final result that I want to achieve and using my awesome engineering skills, I put some dowels inside the holes, filled them with wood glue and waited for it to dry overnight. So before starting to mix the things and components all together, be sure that your wood glue and your wood filler can live with each other. Just maybe do a test on some other wood block and see how them react together. And yeah, just use your spatula to put them on your guitar's body and make it as flush as possible. I'm going to be sanding it, of course, once again to make it level with the top, but yeah, in this case, less is more. You can remove the excess using a paper towel or your fingers also, just be sure to wash your hands before going to dinner and I'm going to let it sit for a couple of hours. And yeah, I think that for today we're done. In the next episode I'll be sanding the guitar body once again, starting from 80 and going up almost to 400 grit. So the guitar body will be very smooth and ready for primer. Alright folks, this is all for today. If you like this video and this type of content, please feel free to leave a like and comment on anything you saw or heard. And if you also want to see more of this stuff like plugin reviews, gear demos and other heavy metal related videos, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. If you want to directly support me, don't forget to listen to my instrumental solo album Musa and my hybrid practice band project Awareness EP. They're out now and they're all available on all digital streaming platforms. iTunes, Spotify, Deezer, Tidal, you name it. Also, if you're a bedroom producer like me, don't forget to take a look at my Facebook group, MSIMS and VST plugins for Metalheads. It's a great community, growing more and more every day, more than 1,600 members now. And you always get updates for new VST plugin releases. So once again, folks, thanks for watching, stay safe, be good to each other and see you the next time.